My name's Sue Woolmore uh, and I'm a social worker by background, uh, working in child protection in both the statutory and the voluntary sector. I spend a lot of time with um, practitioners and their first line managers talking about the kind of issues that they deal with when they're working with families and there's a really common one which is about how you work with families who seem to be cooperating with what you want but you have that feeling that maybe all is not what it seems. A lot of people call it disguised compliance. Uh, it could be one of those really tricky things to get to the bottom of. Particularly because often we want families to change. We really want them to do well. So we're looking for any small sign we can find that things are getting better for the family and hopefully better for the child. But there are ways in which we can discern whether this is real change or whether it is just this disguised compliance. And it's not rocket science. It's not um, the most difficult thing, but it is challenging. And one of the really important things is to be curious. So when you're spending time with families, notice things and wonder about it. Wonder what that might mean. Um, and it's tempting often not to, because if you start wondering and being curious, then you might find things that require a lot of your attention. And a case that seems quite simple can suddenly become much more complicated. But in our heart of hearts, we are doing what we do to make a difference to children. So it is worth being curious and wondering. And having conversations with colleagues, maybe over the desk in the office, certainly with managers, just saying, let me run this past you. What do you think? Or when I was there, I just had this feeling, there was this sense. And find somebody who can help you unravel what some of your curiosity is suggesting to you. And then you're in a good position to start exercising some of your professional judgment. Then you can start weighing up all of those things that you've seen, that you've heard, that you've sensed, and try and get a picture from that and draw some conclusions from it. Because one thing that we do know from a lot of experience is that some of the families we work with are quite, com well they're very complicated, they're complex and they often have within them adults who have got a lot of needs, who some might even describe as quite broken and it's very compelling to try and meet their needs, always hoping that by meeting their needs then we'll help the child. But we have to ask ourselves, how long can the child wait whilst we work with the parents? And there is always that temptation that whilst we're focusing on the parents, we lose sight of the child. And the children do become much more peripheral, they're on the edge. They can almost drop off our radar screen. So it's so important that in all that we're doing, we are curious, but not just about the adults but about the children. What is a day in the life of that child like? Can we put ourselves in their position and can we try and experience that with them and be curious and to wonder, to wonder about what you see and what you hear. And it's amazing how much easier it can then become to make sense of what you're seeing. And alongside all of this, we need to talk to each other as professionals because what you see, what I see, might be different from somebody else. And when we put all the pieces of the jigsaw together, we stand some chance of working out what life is really like for the children in that family.